Good morning and welcome to Kid News. I'm Tori. Today is Thursday, February 4th, 2021. And we begin with a weather warning too big to ignore. By Monday morning, meteorologists predict a bone-chilling midwinter storm will wrap an icy grip around the entire United States, plunging temperatures in all 50 states below the freezing mark. The bitter cold blast is due to a polar vortex. That's a weather phenomenon that occurs when weakening winds around the North Pole cause a jet stream of Arctic air to move south. Parts of the Midwest could face temps as low as minus 25 starting Saturday, with expected wind chills making it feel even colder. 235 million people, or 86% of the country, will eventually feel the freeze, which could last up to 10 days in some places. The National Weather Service is calling the conditions jolting and reminding people to bundle up to avoid frostbite. There's good news for kids tired of looking at the same four walls. The push to get students back in schools is gaining momentum from the top. Yesterday, CDC Director Rochelle Walensky said in a press conference that teachers do not need to be vaccinated to return to classrooms, effectively doubling down on a report last week saying American schools can reopen safely if proper precautions are in place. But some educators and teachers' unions aren't convinced and worry about contracting the virus. Currently, teachers are considered eligible for the vaccine in only 24 states and Washington, D.C. President Biden has made reopening K-8 through schools during his first 100 days a top priority, pledging $170 billion for testing and PPE. All teachers are not created equal. A popular Soul Cycle instructor is spinning a different tune following a wave of backlash for getting vaccinated as an educator. Last week, 52 year old Stacy Griffith, who teaches celebrity filled cycling classes in New York, posted on Instagram that after filling out the required paperwork online, she drove an hour to a vaccination site and got her shot. Legal or not, the idea of an otherwise healthy fitness instructor getting inoculated while some first responders and elderly still wait their turn did not sit well with many. In a news conference on Sunday, the city's mayor, Bill de Blasio, signaled the incident didn't pass the smell test, saying this should have been caught in the application process. Ms. Griffith has since publicly apologized for what she called a terrible error in judgment. Hold your fire. That's the message from the NFL to the Tampa Bay Buccaneers hosting this weekend's Super Bowl at their home stadium. As faithful Bucs fans know, anytime their team scores, enters the opponent's red zone, or wins the game, a giant pirate ship fires ear-splitting cannon shots into the crowd. But not this Sunday. In an attempt to maintain neutrality between the two teams, the shots coming off the 103-foot steel and concrete structure will be silenced. And while Tampa Bay may not get its cannon, it does get its choice of color, and they've elected to wear their road jerseys, which are white. Chiefs fans, your team will be in red jerseys and white pants, which is the same color combo they used when they won last year's Super Bowl. For the first time ever, the Golden Globes will be bi-coastal. The popular award show, which honors both television and film, is splitting up this year's comedic hosting duo, putting Tina Fey in New York and Amy Poehler in Los Angeles. No word yet on how many celebrities, if any, will appear in person for the typically star-studded event. Nominations were announced yesterday. Netflix leads the pack with 42. And in another first, women dominated the Best Director category for motion pictures. The annual Glam Fest has already been postponed from its normal January date. And despite pandemic concerns, the show will go on February 28th. That's it for Kid News. Now our Kid News Quiz. Why is a popular New York City spinning teacher in hot water? Fifty-two-year-old Stacy Griffith was criticized for jumping the line to get a vaccine. What color will the Bucks and Chiefs wear for Sunday's Super Bowl game? The Bucks will be in white, the Chiefs in red. 
How many U.S. states are forecast to plunge below freezing during the upcoming polar vortex? All 50. What streaming service received the most Golden Globe nominations? And one for the road. As it seems to do every year, the Golden Globes announcement included some snubs, and this year, one omission is extra awkward. Director Spike Lee didn't get the nomination everyone expected him to get, and yet his kids are this year's Golden Globe ambassadors. That means Dad won't be taking the stage, but Jackson and Satchel will be up there all night handing out trophies and escorting winners. When they were chosen for the honor, each got to choose a charity to receive $25,000. They've selected Callan Lord, a healthcare organization, and Big Brothers, Big Sisters. Before we go, it's time to give shout outs to our fabulous teachers, Mrs. Martinette at Barnesville Elementary in Barnesville, Ohio, Mrs. Matthews at Slaughter in Louisville, Kentucky, to Mrs. Dillon at Pearl Zanker in Milpitas, California, and greetings to Ms. Pemberton in Chicago, Illinois. And a special shout out to our featured teacher for January, Angel Pollard at Heartland Middle School in Edmond, Oklahoma, for providing the most referrals in our Kid News Teachers Lounge last month. Thanks for listening, everyone. Don't forget, you can also follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. We hope you tune in for more Kid News tomorrow morning.